Hey everyone, this is Ken, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on a fully automatic horse garage. Now as you can see, we have a great setup here, and it's quite simple. You have your entry, your exit, and you have your list of horses that you could choose from. And the cool thing is, you could expand this literally to the end of the map. I mean, there's an infinite expansion to this, and it's quite simple. So let's begin. We're going to hit a horse that we want. Once you hit the button, the light on top will turn on. And as you see, the horse will pop right out. Now the cool thing is the cart that it came from is right over here where this light is at. Because underneath it is a dispenser. Which is great. Now another cool feature we added to this is a nice safety system. So say you select one horse and someone else starts to take another horse, it won't happen. Because there's an actual locking mechanism in the back that prevents it from taking it. <laughs> until you return the horse. All you have to do is just place it right there, hit the button, and that mine card that was right underneath will go back to the same exact location. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Now we also have a nice safety lock mechanism that will lock the entire system. Ah, you saw? What we have there is a nice little butt switch which prevents anyone from using the entire system because it also locks it as well and the cool thing about that is nobody would notice is there but you say you want to go to sleep or you leave for for whatever reason you just place a torch right on that block it activates the bus switch and it unlocks the entire system then you can take your horses perfect now say you lost your horse or your horse died, right? And how do you reset the system? How do you send that minecart back to his location? It's quite simple. All you have to do is activate the override system, which is his lever, to open it, and then hit the button just to send the minecart back to exact location. Perfect. Now at that point you could choose another horse and go on with your day, which is awesome. Now let's get into the back. I'm gonna show you all the rest stone. It's really not that complicated. And the cool thing is half of it is pretty much on the ground. Now this is a quite very simple design. The bulk of it is pretty much just sending signals to indicate what systems are on. Or... But as you can see, it's extremely stackable. I mean, you could literally expand this as long as you want because there's a repeated pattern in the entire design. And the rest zone is quite simple. It's not really that complicated. Let's see. Each horse takes up one block wide of space. Now, another cool thing, we're going to be working on a, a five horse design. But keep in mind, I'm going to show you a few features and you can actually expand this if you want more. Now, there is a cactus we need to break the minecarts. Now the problem with cactuses is they tend to grow. And they don't stop growing. So we don't want that to go into the dispensers where the minecarts go. So we made it a nice little sorting system over here that sucks in all the cactus before it hits the dispenser. Because in that dispenser is where the minecarts are supposed to be at. Now this is the basic materials we're gonna use. We're gonna use a block of your choice, a half slab. We will be needing snow carpet, sand, cactus, glass, rest on lamp, one dispenser, a few hoppers, a few hopper minecarts, minecart, rails, power rails, and rail detectors, a lever, well a few of those, <laughs> some ladders, rest on dust, rest on torch, repeater, Piston, sticky piston, a button, and a pressure plate. I'm pretty sure I got all of it. Now, at this point, I want you to have this kind of layout. Okay, so feel free to pause at this point because this is very important. Now, we're doing a five horse setup, so if you want it longer, just make sure that that right side where it says 10, well, let me show you. On this side over here, you expand that by two blocks more depending on how many horses you want. So for each horse, expand the two blocks. Perfect. Now once you have that set up, place a block there. You're going to 
leave a space, one, two, three, four, had that kind of setup. Then behind they place some torches going forward. Then place some blocks right on top of it. Fantastic. Delete the ones in the middle. Perfect. Then you're gonna place some torches again right on top. Well, on the side of it, just like so, and then some blocks right on top of that. Perfect. So you should have this kind of format at this point. Now, right behind it, you're going to place a block right in that gap. And there as well, just like so. Then get your rest on dust, and you're going to place it right beside it. Perfect. And then one right there as well. Well, for now. Once you've done that, you're then going to place a block in front of the rest of them. So don't. Then a block right on top of the redstone as well. Perfect. Now at this point, you're going to place some repeaters going forward on four ticks in front of each block. Make sure it's on four ticks. It's very important. Otherwise, the system will mess up. Now you can delete this. Could delete that as well and this one as well okay now on the inside facing that direction place a repeater going forward on four ticks as well perfect then you'll place some blocks right on top you can delete that one and there as well and some torches on top as well. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky, okay, guys? Because there is a... It depends on what direction you're facing. Now, in this case, we are facing the north direction. And the north and east in this style will be the same, okay? So, when north and east, make sure you have a redstone torch on top and some redstone dust behind it. If you're facing north and east. All right. Remember, north and east. You have to be facing it. But if you were facing west and south, right? All you have to do is delete the torches and put a regular redstone dust. All right. That's very important. Otherwise, the system will mess up. So bear that in mind. It has to be either west and south. You have to have the rest on dust plane on top, but if you're facing north and east, you have to put a torch right in front of it. That's the only difference. Just because rails tend to act funny with things. Now, you're going to place, leave a two gap space and place a block right in front of it. Then you're going to place a sticky piston on top of it. And a torch in front of that block, just like so. Then a block in front of the sticky piston. Perfect. See, they should be all lined up just like that. Now at this point, we're going to place some blocks in the middle going upwards, just like so. Delete the ones in front of the rest of them. that that and that and replace it with half slabs and one right there as well now right underneath you're gonna place a lever and you're gonna activate it lever and just leave it on it'll make sense later guys don't worry <laughs> Now, at this point, we're going to place our repeaters going forward towards that block. Then we're going to place some sticky pistons right underneath. Perfect. Then a block on top of it. Then you're going to leave a gap of space. Place two blocks right in front of it, just like so. And there as well. That's going to be the fifth one. Because the fifth one, you don't really need one. 
All right, so it should be like that. Place some sticky pistons right inside of it, and some regular blocks right on top. Now at this point, you could place a block there behind it, and if you want to, you could also place a block behind it just so you could place the sticky pistons on top. Now you could delete that block if you want to. Now place a block right on top of the sticky pistons and put one block of sand on top of that. Perfect. Now we're gonna get our redstone, place two redstone on top of that, then you can put three going straight across on the other ones. Awesome. All right, so it was really coming together. You could tell there's a very repetitive pattern going on. I mean, it's very repeat, it repeats itself a lot. Then you're gonna place some blocks right on top of the rest on dust, right in the middle of that block. Then you're gonna put some half slabs and extend it until you connect it forward. Awesome. Not for nothing, guys, it's really coming together. Then you're gonna extend it one more on the side, and over here you're gonna extend it about one more time. One block, then put a block on top of it, just like so. For the simple fact, you need that block there, and plus you don't want to put nothing underneath because it's gonna interfere with the piston underneath that block. Fantastic. So make sure your layout is like this, okay? Make sure the back part looks like this, and the front part is always like this, okay? But if you want to expand it, make sure you just repeat the same pattern on the interior, okay? Now at this point, you're going to place some blocks on the back of that, and you're going to activate it with some levers, okay? Now you're going to place some rest on dust right on top of it, and you're going to place a half slab going forward. All right, you see it's really coming together. It's really not that bad. Now, on top of those solid blocks, I want you to put the rail detector. Then you're going to have to extend that upwards, just like so, and delete that one. So put a power rail, then delete. Power rails, delete so forth and so on. So you short, you have to make it curve upwards. Then you're gonna cover the rest with power rails as well. Awesome. Now at this point in the back, now look, so let's go to the back over here. You're going to place a half slab right between them. Perfect. Now make sure you get your levers because you got to activate that. Because you got to make sure that those power rails turn on. Now the reason I use a lot of levers for the simple fact that you do create a resto signal. And if you really plan on making this on survival mode. I mean, making levers is a lot easier than using rest on dust. All right, let's delete that. And once again, we're going to use some levers to activate those power rails as well. Okay. Awesome. All right, so at this point, I want you to place a power rail right there and a regular rail in front of it. Now make sure they all are going in the same direction, okay? You see that direction? Make sure they all go in that direction. Otherwise, it will mess up the entire system. You see? Because once there's a resto signal hitting that rail, it switches sides. That's the reason I you need to have it like that. Now at this point, place a block right on top of that. Perfect. Then you're going to place some half slabs in between. Then you place some repeaters going forward towards each block. 
Now I want you to get your regular pistons. You're going to place two blocks on top going forward. Okay. Then you're going to place a regular piston going downwards. Then make sure to delete those two blocks we just placed. So you should have this kind of format. Now at this point, I want you to place a block going forward. Leave it. Well, you're going to leave a space. Then you're going to put a half slab. Delete that and a half slab in front of it. Okay. Then you're going to stretch that right across, and you're going to delete each block in between. And repeat that same format with the half slabs. Then you're going to extend the half slabs until you're right on top of the last rail. See that rail that turns? So it's one, two, three, four, five half slabs going forward. See? Should be right on top of that last rail. Then make sure to put some redstone dust right on top of it going towards the block. Now, I'm going to keep this in mind, guys. This is a big project. It is a bit repetitive, so just bear with me. Now, make sure you put some torches in front of those big blocks, all right, to activate the pistons. And you're going to put a half slab in front of that and a block on top and then a block on top of each piston. And in between, put a half slab. Now, bear in mind, no matter how long you make this, you can make this 50 blocks long, 100 blocks long, it doesn't matter. Just make sure that the last part at the end Right here in this section right here, you put a repeater going forward on the half slab, not the block. You put some rest on dust going upwards, one, two, three, and then a repeater going the opposite direction. Okay? So make sure the end of it is always like that. Then, of course, you're going to put some rest on dust right on top. Perfect. Then you're going to place a block there and a piston on top, a regular piston. Delete the block underneath, and then you're going to extend that right across. Then you're going to delete every other one. Perfect. Now, at this point, I want you to get the sand and the levers, and you're going to place two blocks of sand right on top of it. Then on the top part, place a block. Then you're going to place some rest on dust on top of it, and you're going to place some levers on the side of it, and you're going to activate it. Fantastic. Now, you're going to place three half slabs going forward, okay? Awesome. Right on that top part of the sand, and you can just literally place a block in front of it on top of the rest of them. See? Then in front of that block, well, right over here, just place about two blocks up, delete that. And put a half slab there and delete that, okay? Because you want to be like one block away from it. Then you're going to extend that forward and delete each one or well, each other one. Let's put that back, delete that. You got to make that same kind of format. Then you're going to place some torches right in front of it. Now, this is the thing. Make sure you place a repeater right there and then the rest on dust. Just because you don't want to activate the dust underneath that block. See, when it's like that, the rest on dust won't activate the rest on dust. It just doesn't work like that. Awesome. So you should have this kind of look. It's really coming together. Now, at this point, place a block in front of that rest on dust and extend that right across. Then, let's get our... Put a block there. There. This is actually going to be the floor level. Now, if you guys, if I didn't mention this... You have to dig five blocks deep if you plan on doing this on the ground, okay? If you really want this to be ground level, it's literally five blocks deep. Fantastic. I'll extend that on both sides, about one block. Let's get our rest on lamps ready because we will need that at one point. Now, you're going to put, no, don't do that. You're actually going to place a regular block one more time right across on the top. Then right on top of it, parallel to the redstone, place your redstone lamps. Then you're going to get your buttons and place it right in the bottom of each block, just like so. Perfect. 
Now let's get our block of choice. Then we're going to cover this all up, all right? Perfect. Let's cover that all up just the way you want it because we're going to create the wall. Now, all you have to do is really extend that about four blocks forward and a big block in front of it with a redstone torch in front of it. See? So we're going to place one, two, three, four, and then a block in front of it and a torch right in front of that. Okay, so let's repeat that to all the other ones. Extend that about four times, then on the fifth block, well, on the fifth one, place a block and a torch in front of it with redstone dust on top of it. And once you've done that, uh, the mechanism at this point is pretty much done. Anyway, guys, we just finished off the entire sorting horse system of it. Now, make sure to watch part two to create the entrance and exit for the horses itself. All right, I will be putting a link right in the description and on the video as well. Thank you.